Okay, just wanted to go through, uh, kind of finish up on some of the longer season corns. Once again, this is this 59B70 BMR. Really a big corn for a BMR. This is 110 day. I don't know, some of you guys uh, used to use Nutridense corn. This is out of the Nutridense lineup. And look at the stock expansion here. So if you used to like, if you like Nutridense, this might be one to look at. It's kind of a throwback. In the 110 day. Nice corn. This 112 is probably my favorite corn uh, using this the whole way from, well, honestly, it probably could go from uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, the whole way to West Texas. And out there where we have water being an issue, uh, really anywhere heat or water is an issue, this is really going to shine. Extremely, extremely girthy ears. Very, very robust, huge plants. This is planted at 28.5 here, although we can even come back lower on low on stress situations or areas where we're trying to drive fiber digestibilities higher. Look at how healthy these plants are. With extremely nice cobs. In 112 day, this is going to be a winner across, you know, a very, very wide uh, spectrum. And this, this hybrid has been around for a long time. It's definitely not new, but Kingfisher picked it up. And, and so it's going to be in a, both Kingfisher and an RT, uh, the red tail bags, which are the traded version of their stuff. Uh, not using a lot of this one anymore. Um, I, think, uh, I think most of them are getting replaced in Look at this is another one. This is a long season PMR. I apologize for that. It's probably like 117 day. And if anything, it might be longer than that. So this is a is a I would call it a semi-dwarf. So it has really, look at these leaf nodules here. They're really packed in here. So if you had any issues with standability or concerns on a BMR, this would be a fit. It also has extremely, extremely long cobs. But... <laughs> This is probably not in its zone. Like I've seen it in West Texas, uh, in Missouri, in Kansas, where it did well, and might be places where you wouldn't normally plant a PMR. But I don't think it's really a fit in Wisconsin or in the upper Midwest. So, anyway, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this plot walk. Of course, there's lots of good corn in the country, but I think. Um, there's probably half the varieties in the Kingfisher lineup that I'm, you know, willing to recommend on, on my farms. And uh, they've probably done as good a job as, as anybody in, in pulling together a solid forage corn lineup. Too many of the other, you know, too many other companies are more green focused and, oh, they got this tall hybrid or whatever that they like for silage. But... Um, this is actually, you know, they put a lot of time and effort into uh, finding stuff for silage. So, good talking, guys.